Thank you for uh, joining in for this week's G.I. Joe toy, toy action figure review. Today we will be looking at Data Frame, which used to be known as Mainframe. So, but before we get to looking at, <coughs> excuse me, but before we get to looking at Mainframe and his accessories, let's take a look at, um, for the third week in a row, I'm actually going to uh, advertise for um, Back to the Media store right there on Winchester, Virginia's Walking Mall. For those in Winchester, Virginia, check it out. You know, they have a lot of vintage stuff in there. Very good store. And they also have a lot of vintage video games and whatnot. And uh, so let's take a look at Data Frame. So, but first we'll take a look at his file card, which is right here. Computer Specialist Data Frame. If you look on his, data, his file card, you can see where he had uh, um, Army Airborne Division at age 17, where you know where he headed into battle across overseas, and then uh, got his com just in time to get his combat infantryman's badge. Then he went to MIT after that on the GI Bill to study computer tax. Went into work for uh, in the Silicon Valley at the antiseptic corridors, and then after that he went up to uh, join the Marines. So yes, Data Frame is what is the first. G.I. Joe to do serve in two branches of the U.S. military. And uh, just first take a look at his uh, accessories, which he comes with this little cardboard floppy disk, which you could actually cut along the dotted line and cut them into four separate pieces. And then he's got his work uh, battle ready computer where he can actually sit like right outside the cover base and actually hack into their. Uh, computer systems and they also come with the removable leg planes you can have it sit like this or you could just lift the legs up yeah mm. so that I can get it in there right well you sit the legs up and have them stand have it stand up but he also comes with this little knife is kind of like chuckles resemblance right here. He also has this little mini walkie-talkie detonator device, whatever you want to call it. And he also, and the, the uh, 25th anniversary data frame also brings him a uh, machine gun. Nice detailing on it. Because the vintage style uh, data frame or main mainframe never came with a gun. And uh, he also comes with his G.I. Joe figure stand, upraised G.I. Joe logo, codenamed data frame on the front. So let's take a look at uh, data frame. You know, he's got his little black helmet with the, what that and what that silver spot is supposed to be is the uh, Marine Corps logo, but you can't really see it that well. And uh, his... His rivals 360. Arm just looks all the way up to there. Three sixty all the way around. Elbow just brings at the elbow. Swivels at the elbow. Also swivel at the rest. I like the uh, attack of Cooper Island chuckles. He's got the uh, his hand doing that weird whatever you want to call it, Scott. But hey, it works. Excuse me again. And then he's also got his typical ab crunch feature. And then he hook at the legs where so he can spread his legs about that far. They can lift about that high. Double bend at the knees. His ankle can bend backwards. Also, rotate the 360. <laughs> Three sixty right there. So 
Let's take a look at data frame all set up. Once again, here's data frame fully set up. There's the computer up, right? One thing I like about mainframe was he's one of the oldest on the Joe team. About 10 years older than possibly most of the other guys. So I would say he's like in his late 30s, early 40s. But uh, that's what made him special. And he's most notable in the cartoon series for his uh, affair with Serana. If y'all remember that episode. Uh, the comic book really didn't do too much with him. But uh, but that's my look at Data Frame, which he, like I said, I'm used to him being mainframe. But uh, he was one of my favorite characters, went on many missions when I was a kid. But uh, tune in next week as we look at Beachhead, another one of my favorites that came out the same year Mainframe did. And once again, a shout out to uh, Back to the Media. You know, check them out if you're in the Winchester area or if you come to Winchester to visit, come and check them out. They're on there at 41 uh, North Loudon Street, right at the walking mall, right next to the splash pad. So tune in next week for Beachhead, and y'all have a great week.